Here in Central Florida, several people have tested positive at a local prison. The virus is impacting seven inmates at the Tomoka Correctional Institute in Daytona Beach. News 6's Lauren Korn takes a closer look at the problem, how the prison is responding, and how other local jails are working to get results. Seven inmates and three employees at Tomoka Correctional Institution tested positive for COVID-19, according to the Florida Department of Corrections. The FDC releasing measures on how it's keeping the 1,226 prison inmates and staff safe. Some of those include providing medical services and meals to inmates within their cells. All symptomatic inmates are tested for COVID-19. All staff and inmates required to wear face coverings and rigorous cleaning. Volusia County tells News 6 there are no COVID-19 cases inside the Volusia County Jail. It's been on a 14-day lockdown that will transition to a modified lockdown tomorrow. All prisoners get their temperatures taken and newly arrived inmates must be quarantined for 14 days. The jail is also equipped with hand sanitizers and masks for both inmates and staff. We have no uh, COVID-19 uh, inmates. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley says that's because of their increased training, medical screening upon arrival, temperatures taken taken for staff and inmates and personal protection equipment for all, not to mention hand sanitizers throughout the facility. We have uh, space that we can spread inmates out. Uh, they're doing a lot of cleaning uh, in the facility. But that's not the case with every jail, where some inmates are being released to prevent community spread. Hillsborough County released one, and the very next day uh, they arrested that inmate. Uh, for murder. Sheriff Staley says that will not be happening at his green roof inn. The best way to not have COVID-19 in a facility is don't commit a crime and don't get arrested. In Flagler County, Lauren Corn getting results, News 6.